Okay, this video is going to show you how to do some of the basics with Arbiter. We'll call this Arbiter 101 for the new official. So first you want to make sure that you uh, can log into the Arbiter website. And you can do this a couple of ways. You can go open your browser and type in www.arbitersports.com. Or if your assigner has added you to Arbiter, you will have received an Arbiter welcome message. The welcome message will look like this. It'll have some kind of message that has a link to arbitersports.com and it will give you your username and information to log in. So once you've clicked on that email link or have gone to www.arbitersports.com, you'll come up to this page. Simply enter your email address and your password. Click the big red sign in. Once you log in, this will be the main page that you see and there's a couple of different ways to enter groups you can click on the panel here you can click on whether you're an official or if you want to go to the central hub you can also go up here to the top right click the down drop arrow and you could see the different groups that you belong to here as well once you get added to a group if it's your first group with the WA uh, you will see the central hub WA section show up once you become a registered official so for now, we'll go ahead and just click on the official for SCBBO group. And this is the main dashboard that every site will see. Now, different associations are going to have different announcements for their official. So in this case, there's a few announcements that uh, are posted here. If you have an Arbiter Pay account, uh, you can you will see the information here for your Arbiter Pay account. If you don't have an Arbiter Pay account, you can hit Link Pay and it'll link you out to the ArbiterPay.com website and you can create your Arbiter Pay account there, which will then be linked back to your Arbiter account. When you first join a group, you also might be asked to join the group. There might be a pop up that asks you to join a group. If that's the case, go ahead and join the group and then that way you can then select that group from the main from the main page again at any time if you want to switch groups you can go back up to the right here and click the group that you want to join on now a couple of notes we'll take a look at when you first get into arbiter as a new official the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your profile page so click on this once you click on the profile page you're going to want to make sure that all this information is correct and up to date your phone number section here and your address are things that are important to the assigner uh, and the other officials in the group. The phone number especially and your email address are going to be the communication methods that your crew members use to get in touch with you, as well as you want to make sure you add a picture too. So you can go ahead and update this information here. Uh, the official's number, business name, EIN number, we don't use any of that per se. Um, and the other parts of this are optional and when you're done you want to make sure you click on the save button here at the bottom the other thing you can do is click on phones this will show you your phone numbers and if you ever need to edit it you can come in here and click edit or delete it click X or if you want to add another phone number it maybe have a second cell phone or a work phone you can click on the plus sign and go ahead and add another phone number designate what type it is and then click the computer icon and that will save that phone number. One of the important things that you want to also do is check the ready box. This tells your assigner that you are ready to be assigned games. If you uncheck this, the assigner will see that you're not ready to be assigned, but I would double check with your assigner as every assigner has a different use for this field. On the phone number, you want to make sure that you also select public. If you don't have this public checkbox checked, then the other officials in the group will not be able to see your phone number. Once you have your phone number in there, you can go ahead and click on this text icon right here. This will actually send you a test message, and that way you know that you're set up correctly within Arbiter. Arbiter will send you game notifications via text if you so choose, and we'll show you that in a minute. 
to add a photo of yourself or if you want to change an existing photo you simply click on the plus sign here and it will show you the picture that you currently have if you don't have one it will show you a different icon you can click change picture so simply choose a file from your computer and then you would say upload and then if you wanted to use this picture as your picture you could click use this picture and it will replace the current picture that's already there if you don't want to simply do not click this just click on something else and it will go back and it will keep your picture it's important to update your picture so that other officials know who you are and also that you know who they are as well as you'll be able to print out a photo roster here in a minute the next tab within profile is called preferences this tab is important because this is where you would check how you want to be notified of um, game assignments if you get a new game a new event a change to a game you're unassigned from a game or you get assigned to an event how do you want to be notified so you have both your email and your phone number here you can choose to individually pick so in this case I said I want to be notified via email and via text message if there's a game reminder um, if you want you can individually select these or you can check the box over here and it will select all of them my suggestion is to select all of these so you you're not missing out on notifications of games if you do not receive a notification of a game assignment or a game change the first place you want to go is here to look uh, most likely you've added a phone number and you forgot to check the boxes here to say send reminders the next thing you want to do is make sure that your time zone is set to Pacific most of these other defaults are okay when you run game reports and schedules it's going to use these dates here as your default dates so Typically, you would want to adjust these dates to be the current season that you're in. So as you can see here, I've set these to the current school year that's upcoming. So when you're done, make sure you click Save. If you ever need to reset your password, you can click on this, this tab here, enter your current password, and give a new password. Hit Change, and that will save your password. The last tab we'll talk about here is Sharing. So if you happen to be a member of multiple arbiter groups and you want to share your game assignments with other assigners this is valuable in the sense that if you're working two sports or two different for two different groups in the same season it's nice for the assigners of each group to be able to see when you've been assigned to another game in another group this is completely up to you um, and you can say i want in this case SCBBO and WA to be able to see each other so the assigners from these two groups would be able to see each other's games if if you so choose so I would recommend this share with the signers and I would just go ahead and pick all of these note if you join a new group by default it's not going to be checked so you're gonna to have to come back here and check it in order for that assigner for the other group to see your new group lastly we'll talk about lists the list menu gives you a lot of different options for things first and foremost are the officials within your group so this lists all the active officials that are in your group you can sort by alphabetical order down here if you want this will show you only the m officials if you click on it and you can see the legend on the left will tell you if they're ready or not ready So let's assume you have all the officials here and you've all these checkboxes are checked for the five different pages of officials and you want to run a roster, a photo roster for yourself so you can see what everybody looks like. You can simply click on photo roster and then make sure you check the box here that says photo roster and hit print preview and that will open a nice PDF document showing you all the officials and their information. So if you need to print this out to keep with you in case you have an emergency and you need to get a hold of somebody and you can't get internet access, this is a good roster to have. If you said your phone number was not public, it would not show up here. 
nor would your address. So you want to make sure that that information is available for other officials, especially your phone number. The next tab is Association Officers. This will show you the address of the association, who the association officers are. And just like on the lists, if you click on the name, it'll pop up with their information right here. And then if you want to email them, you can click on the email. You can view map to see the directions to their house if you want to, if you're carpooling or something like that. Next, we'll look at sites. Sites are the locations of the games. So this gives you the, the school name, the phone number for the contact information to get a hold of the school, and the address. So any of these are hyperlinked. So if you click on them, it will open up a Google map. And that will give you directions to the school. Next is a list of teams. We don't really use that. And depending on your association, you may have forms or not. Forms is a way for assigners and associations to share information with you. In this case, you can see there's a lot of different information shared. And for example, table crew for basketball timer duties is a link to a document that can then be printed and given to the table crew. So each association may or may not have documents depending on what it is, but this is a good way for them to share information.